Mobile crushing plants prepare natural stone and construction waste for further processing. As long as the feed material is homogeneous, the machines can usually crush everything without interruption. Unfortunately, the crushed material is not always homogeneous. As a result, the crusher can sometimes process the material faster and sometimes more slowly. This either leads to underutilization and wastes valuable production output, or the crusher is overfilled and can no longer process the material, resulting in a production standstill. Claremont's crushing plants are different. They are all equipped with the Continuous Feed System, CFS, as standard. This regulates the material feed in such a way that the crusher is always optimally utilized. Productivity increases and wear is reduced. Another application. This conventional jaw crusher appears to be running smoothly and seems well utilized, but only at first glance. These unremarkable stones are especially tenacious. The machine is crushing them, but gradually it is being damaged. Various components are wearing out and will eventually fail. This won't continue for much longer. <laughs> With its Intelligent Load Reduction System (LRS), a Mobicat from Claymont would detect the situation and temporarily adjust the feed. As a result, the jaw crusher would always operate in an optimal range. The same cannot be said of this cone crusher. Many cone crushers have a problem with too much fine material. When it compacts, the force of the crusher is transmitted directly to the housing. This leads to damaging ring bounce. Not surprisingly, Claymont's Mobicone has a solution for this too. With ring bounce detection, the cone crusher gradually opens its gap before permanent damage occurs. And here is another application. How does this machine respond when unbreakable components are mixed in with the construction waste? Will it break down? Fortunately, there is the pressure plate. It will break before the jaw crusher is seriously damaged and can then be easily replaced. In the meantime, however, the machine is not operational and downtime is expensive. How would a Mobicat Evo 2 perform? With its active overload system, the jaw crusher reacts in a fraction of a second and lets the uncrushable components through. The smarter crusher simply concedes and gives way. So why struggle with conventional crushing plants when production downtimes and expensive repairs are avoidable? With the innovative control and overload systems from Claymont. <laughs>